Guernsey. Rattus, Rattus. The longest in the heat, even though it has been chopped down to fit in the boot. The chassis from an old desk, its forward-facing spikes and battery-driven flail are dangerous. It'll row dent a few hopes, that's for sure. Hi, I'm Gary. This is Rick. Uh, this, is our, this is our robot, Rattus, Rattus. It's called Rattus, Rattus, which is the Latin name for the common rat. As you can see, it's quite common. It sustained some injuries previously in other fights uh, when it came from Mesopotamia in the 11th century. Went across Europe in the 14th century, killed 25 million people, and now it's here at Robot Wars. From Kent, Smidzy. They describe their weaponry as gnashing jaws, crushing jaws, lift you up and dismember jaws. Cool, they cannot duel this team. They say it took six weekends to build and six months talking about it. I'm Mike Reed of Team I Ixian. Um, this is Robin, who's our driver, and Andy, and this is our robot Smidzy. We call it Smidzy because it stands for sorry mate, I didn't see you. Um, we're motorbikers and if you get knocked off by a car, the first thing the driver says is sorry mate, I didn't see you. We've made Smidzy so it'll be flippable, run either way up, and we've got the jaws so that we can change them, we can go under another robot, over the top of it, depending on which way up we are. Robot ears, stand by. Rattus, Rattus, from the 14th century, what's that all about? Gary Pike and Richard Ozan, his teammate, and Smidzy there. Two. With the driver, Robin Bennett, in control. When it opens its jaws, Smitty looks like a giant, great big black and red clothes peg, I think. But it's Rattus Rattus on the attack. No gnawing jaws, but there at the back, the flail. There's Robin Bennett at the controls of Smitty. Spent six months touring Australia by motorbike. They're all big bikers in the team. And how annoying is it when a car driver says to you, a biker, yeah, I didn't see you, mate. Now, it's Rattus Rattus just gnawing away at Smidzy once again, pushing him in towards the CPZ. Don't forget, once you've been pushed into a CPZ, the house robot can grab you. Let's have a look at this moment again. Rattus Rattus up and over Smidzy and bouncing healthily away. Then the little push. You can see there, the tactic being used is to push towards the CPZ. Kilolots waiting for anything loose. Rattus Rattus, the more aggressive of the two so far. Onto the arena spike, which has become such a, a feature of this series. And really, Smitty doing very little attacking work. It's all Rattus Rattus, and eventually, I'm sure, he's just going to push Smitty in towards the CPZ. He'll get there in the end. Bouncing around. It's dead metal awaiting. Can't come out of the CPZ to gather a robot unless it's on the fringe. Ah, Smitty, low enough to avoid the pincers of dead metal. Robin Bennett trying to get Smitty on the attack, perhaps. Needs to. In comes Rattus Rattus with one drive. Poised to come in with another. Slam him off! Rattus Rattus in trouble. Slammed against dead metal pincers and the body shell almost came flying off. There you see, separated. From the main frame, the chassis made from an old desk, and off comes the fur-covered alloy shell. And now, onto the flame pit as well. So, trouble here for Rattus Rattus. What on earth is that underneath the, the top part of the jaws, if you like? Gary Pike looks bemused. A little twitch from him, and also from the front of the rat. And was he caught in a rat trap there? Well, there's still life in Robin Bennett and his team. A little tug on the beard of Andy Pugh there on the right. Now the circular saw of dead metal slicing into the top of Smidzy. It's going to be quite close, this, in the end. Unless Smidzy's pushed towards, 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 towards the pit! Get in! Get in! Pit, 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 pit! Yes! He's finished. I think Rattus Rattus Six. deserved it in the end. The rogue rules. Rattus Rattus go through. Robot ears stand by. Three, two, one. Activate. Rattus Rattus is the heavier. The dreadnought probably is the speedier. And you wonder what damage. Rattus Rattus took in its last battle against Smidzy, when the shell, don't forget, was lifted up and almost off the main chassis of Rattus Rattus, which obviously has a problem here right from the start. They say it came from the 14th century. Well, the engines have probably ground to a halt long ago since then. And Dreadnought here 
very much in the ascendancy early on. There's no life in Rattus Rattus at all. Well, it's Dreadnought that will be going through, I would think, on the evidence of what we've seen early on here, to the splendid times and hardly. Boomtown Rats. Rattus Rattus edging away from the pits into trouble because now you see the house robots can come in. They're allowed to come in for the kill if a robot's been immobilised. And, and let's be honest, it has. Hard cheese for the rat. And uh, Dreadnought's really won here by more than a whisker. And uh, what we'll see here at the tail of this heat is no future for Rattus Rattus, despite the whirling tail there, the, the flail at the back, and the forward-facing spikes doing no damage whatsoever. Matilda shunts it around into the CP's head. Oh, lovely, says Flash with the pincers to create a little bit of damage. I think really that the damage was sustained in its first round victory here, Rattus Rattus. You can see where it's been patched up for this second round clash. All Dreadnought needs to do is stay away from trouble, unlike Rattus Rattus, which has now been sliced apart. Well, it really is caught in the rat trap there, isn't it? It's Matilda's chainsaw bumping and barging. Gary and Richard in the Rattus Rattus cherry picker. In comes Dev Metal now. <laughs> a little bit of a slice. Oh, yes, thank you very much, sir. The smoke from the impact. Oh, yes, sir, thank you. And again. Yep. Not three cheers for Rattus Rattus, three tears for Rattus Rattus from the third attack from Dev Metal. Oh, really slicing into the innards of the rat. <laughs> Horrible thought. Dreadnought bouncing away. Don't get into trouble now, whatever you do, David. Stay away from Shunt and go. Another scar of battle for Rattus Rattus to remember the house robots by. Dreadnought wisely getting away from trouble. And Dreadnought make the heat final.